this is the convoy of Defence Minister Rajnath Singh. You know, we are showing you live visuals from the cremation ground. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has arrived at the cremation ground. NSA Ajit Doval is already inside the cremation ground and now we will see the convoy just stopping right outside the gate of the cremation ground. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh now Rajnath Singh getting down from his car. He is going inside the cremation ground to pay his respect to Brigadier Leader. These are the live visuals we are getting you. Rajnath Singh now making, may, making way. He is going inside the cremation ground where Haryana Chief Minister ML Khattar, Rajavardhan Rathor, NSA Ajit Doval are already present. Defence Minister who was also present at the Palom Airport along with Prime Minister Narendra Modi is now making his way, going inside the cremation ground to pay his respects to Brigadier Leader Akshita. So Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has just arrived. He will be paying his last respects also to Brigadier Leader there. Uh, and uh, after that, you will see the final rites, the crematorium, uh, the cremation of the Brigadier as well. Family members have gathered there. Loved ones are all present. As Aishwarya pointed out, Rajivardhan Rathor is also there. Someone who knew him, a close friend, uh, a comrade of Brigadier Leader. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh walking up with a wreath ceremoniously will lay the wreath there. A moment he will stand, offer his last salute, his last respects there, uh, right by the mortal remains of Brigadier Leader.
moment of silence, uh, a billion prayers for Brigadier Leader's family to give them the strength to deal with the grief uh, and this tragedy uh, that's hit them really out of the blue this week. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has paid his last respects. He's still there. You can see him interacting with family and friends uh, as he offers his condolences on behalf of the entire nation. Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar is also present. Uh, NSA Ajit Dovala. This speaks volumes really. The fact that you have uh, the Defence Minister present there, the National Security Advisor present there, Prime Minister Modi yesterday ensured he was there at the Palam Airport to offer his last respects. It speaks volumes to the family members, to their loved ones, to their friends about how grateful a nation is for, for their service. And these heartbreaking images, really, of family members uh, trying hard to keep their emotions in check, breaking down uh, after that moment of silence. That's when perhaps it hits the hardest, the loss of a loved one, this kind of a uh, loss. Uh, and as we get to you those pictures, uh, it's heartbreaking, to say the least, to see these emotional moments that a family has to endure. Uh, unfortunately, tragically so, it's not just one family that is in mourning today, it's so many families because of all the heroes that we've lost in the chopper crash on Wednesday, it's an entire nation that's grieving with these family members uh, and trying